not just been that. I came here about 35 years ago. And Babel was living here yeah. already? Yeah. Oh, already yeah. I wasn't living here. Yeah. What was the name of, how do you call this place? Nowadays we call it Laboratory Boschivo. What's Boschivo? Boschivo is uh, uh, forest. forest. It's Sopra. a workshop in the forest. Yeah. In Italian, the forest is the bosco. The area is uh, uh, area of Edificio del Ferro, because nearby there was an uh, iron mine. And the building uh, that which is there is Edificio del Ferro, the building of the iron mine. So we are in the area of the iron mine in Tolfa. Lots of mines. There were lots of mines in Tolfa area. You're an artist? And a lot of the pictures, I have a lot of uh, pictures from here. And I really like the way you, you take a uh, recycled Thank them. you. I got this idea how to reuse the things I found from glass, glasses, iron, plastic, different. Things. They are beautiful. I got to know Pirio because you were apprentice at my studio. Mm. So you studied to first to be an engineer. Yes, I've graduated in engineer. It was not mine. I, I, I figured out after the journey in India that uh, that was not the thing of, for me. But I anyway finished the studies and then I started to research way out. Yes. Then I, I, I got the passion to the ceramics. I can see you have a yeah, passion. I, yeah, it's beautiful work yeah, you're doing. Yeah. Well, I, I had French ceramists. Like yes. When I was studying, while I was studying, I had a good friend. I still we keep contact with one Austrian ceramist who was oh. working with porcelain, and it was very fascinating because that time in Finland nobody was working with porcelain. Gabriele Hein is no. her name. So you live here? Uh, yeah. Well, well, Pieter, our son, now he's 30 years old, but he was six, and we had to decide where to live. We had to all the time have this house. That we've been like in, in Finland. He, Peter is born in Finland, uh, I, and then I went to study ceramics in Finland for one year, and then I came in Italy and I studied two years in Faenza, Faenza. in the north Italy. Yes. And after that, Peter was six years, and so we just okay. We try to live here. We started to build. Uh, the, uh, finished the house and built the workshop and here they started to school and at the same time the Norwegians they had bought uh, the monastery here in Tfa and I met some of peop some people from there and Anna Marie is a ceramist and so I think uh, that helped me to remain here in Tolfa that contact from the new north North Europe you give classes here, so do you yeah. accept friends, uh, people to, who want to learn pottery to come and visit? Here? Yes, 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 yes. I have a private lessons of people coming here, uh, staying one day or even one week in Tolfa, coming here doing ceramics, uh, pottery, uh, or collective wood firing or raku firing. Or that would be so fantastic to come over here and have a pottery. Mm. workshop. The kiln, so it was uh, built by you mm. and Bebu. Yes. Yes. Thank you. He <laughs> yeah. I've been the expert, he's been my assistant. Because I, I, I was studied just the worker. Yeah, worker. Yeah, the worker. Yeah. 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 I am yeah. the worker. Well, I was I, studying it for many years. Yeah. I've been studying the project many years, hiring that kind of kilns to understand. Because if you build a kiln, it must work work you put and also the money you invest for the materials it costs and, and it's really nice that it's small and tiny yeah, i think because yeah, there's no yeah. need building a big yeah uh, yeah it's, it's a you have to what you fire is has to be something you want to keep yes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm engineer. It helped me. Yes. It helped me to uh, figure out and make the countings. You have to make some count. Have the right uh, project. Uh, how to proceed? Uh, then you just start. When you have all the theory, you have studied. I have studied the theory. I had theory and then planned it how it should be and position everything and measures. And then you just start. Do you, do, do, you do pottery? Do you? No. Yes. Yes, and you fire there too. 
some of them I I, I file. Yes. Uh, which material do you love most? Uh, grass. Stoneware. Stoneware. Yes. Uh, what's your plans with your? You work with porcelain now mostly. Or? No, no, stoneware. Oh, stoneware. I studied porcelain because yeah. it fascinated me a lot, yes. and I, 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 I studied mostly about that. I slip cut it, uh, made forms and molds. But uh, since I built the wood firing, the ah. slip cast it. It's no meaning. It's uh, what's your dreams in doing a ceramics right now? Uh, well, now I'm doing this research about the local materials to make glazes out of, of, of stone or experiment local uh, um, materials, different materials. Also, uh, kaolin, uh, which uh, yeah, it has been a kaolin mine in yes. Kopa and wow. La Bianca. La Bianca is the nearest village. Uh, yes. La Bianca is white. You're and gonna have a course here. Uh, it's for the people who participate on May, the workshop. Ah. Uh, so they will continue on September. We continue this project. It's it's part of the project. So we will show for the public. And the exhibition will be in Tolfa? Yeah, Tolfa at Polo Culturale. With All around in the world, people are starting to use local materials. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very good because that's mm -hmm. very ethical. So yeah. that you know where the material yeah. comes yeah. and you know who is the... Yeah. Who has... Uh, done the material for you. Yeah. It's important. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's I a human rights issue. Yeah. Right? Well, I have. We have used the the the, the clay we f found by behind the house. We have uh, built this. Brick. We made the bricks. But I think uh, it's one kind of process. You know the way I'm following that. I'm more conscious about it. More it, it further it gets. That I started <coughs> from the material porcelain. This is uh, from far away from our world. It, it was so far away from from everything because I'm very curious and I want to know. But now I'm slowly like going going towards more deeper, closer to what we are and where we are, and where I am. Maybe the aim is to get to be part of the land that you start from somewhere and you become part of this earth this <laughs> land because we will be part of the uh, this ground so you come from the ground earth and you will be the earth and the clay is the material i think that's what what i choose the clay that one day i will be part of it but I maybe that I become a glaze. My ashes will be a glaze. Clay, stoneware. Yeah, it, it, by wood firing kiln. <laughs> you can put it on the pot. <laughs> yeah, you can take my ashes too. <laughs> I think that's perfect. Thank you.